In this video, I want to show you how you can find $15,000 a month products to sell on Amazon in less than 10 minutes. And what I think would be most helpful is to give you four additional products that I personally would sell that are doing over $15,000 a month and specifically give you a reason as to why I would sell that kind of product and what I would do to improve it and therefore make more money selling that product. Because sometimes it's, it's hard to just kind of hear all this information, but not know exactly like what to look for in a product. And so I'm going to go through that step by step and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Also real quick, uh, I'm a new channel. My name is Mark, and uh, I would appreciate it if you either like, comment, or subscribe to this channel, especially from this video. Uh, in doing so, if just one person would subscribe <laughs> from this video, then it'll uh, help me to justify uploading more content about how to sell on Amazon and how to be successful. So when you're going through product research, the easiest way to find a product that's doing $15,000 a month is through the keyword research black box tool in Helium 10. So with the criteria that we're going to be putting in here, what I want to look for is anywhere with at least a 3000 search volume, but I'm going to limit the search volume to 10,000. And why I do that is because sometimes if a product is doing upward towards 15 or $20,000 a month in sales, sometimes those products can trigger trends, meaning the search volume is going to go up super high and then it's going to shoot down. And so typically trending like really up and then it might go down. Those products can uh, be more in like the 20 or 30,000 search volume area, not so much like the three to 10,000. And so that way I'm kind of filtering out those kind of trendy or seasonal products. And then monthly revenue, obviously we want it to be 15,000 at least. And uh, let's go upward towards 30,000. So we're going to make sure that we set that as a bare minimum. And then we're going to make it uh, going upward towards 30,000. Now with the price point, I'm going to set this anywhere from 10 to $90. This is totally based off of what your capital situation is, how much you're willing and able to put forth uh, to a product. And so uh, I, I like to put this as at a very wide range because I just like to see what all the options I have. And then I can kind of filter through there a little bit more and more. And then with review count, I want to set this at 250. I want to really limit how much competition we're, we're facing when we're trying to find a product that's, uh, you know, doing 15,000 a month. As far as categories though, there's so many good categories to sell in on Amazon, but for this video and for this example, I want to focus on the patio, lawn and garden category. So as I hit search and real quick, if you don't have Helium 10, I have a discount code down below this video. And I recommend if you're going to like pay money, if you're going to invest in your Amazon FBA business, like the first thing that I would buy before even the Amazon seller account, even before an LLC is a product research tool, especially, uh, specifically Helium 10, because like, None of those other things can happen until you've actually found a product. And so if you're going to risk uh, it, I would risk it with buying Helium 10 first, because that way you can actually do product research, kind of know exactly what you're getting into. Okay. So as I go through these keywords, I really like to, I'm, I'm constantly filtering out information in and out. Uh, I'm constantly looking for maybe products or keywords that will revolve around a holiday like Valentine's Day. I would not do something like revolving around a seasonal product or I'm going to be looking for something that's like, you know, generic, broad, um, not too niche. Uh, okay. Arch backdrop cover. Um, let's see what that is. Those numbers look really good. 3,800 search volume. The, the monthly revenue is 20,000. And the review count is 48. That's incredibly low. Okay, so it's like a wedding arc backdrop. Um, that could be a good potential product. Doesn't like specifically catch my eye. And real quick, I don't know if you noticed, but we only had, we only got what, three, four, five filtered keywords. Um, and sometimes if that's the case, then I actually will maybe increase this to like 400. Let's say if we get a little bit more results. And even if we increase that, it's actually super easy to, to still filter down and make sure that the keyword is not too competitive. So we have a little bit more. So one of the, one of the keywords that catches my attention is indoor fire pit. I've seen this product before 
And I think it's a sweet product to launch. And let me tell you exactly why. So, okay, I'm getting an idea. It's these little fire pits that you put outside. And when we look at the keyword, I mean, it has 4,300 search, 24,000 in monthly revenue and only 350, like that is a steal. That is a, a money product to sell. Now, um, I wanna go into like, so here's a good example. And I actually want this to be one of my four example products. Why I would pick this product is because I've actually been doing like Amazon selling for a while and I've seen this product around. And one thing that I've always loved about this product, and I hope that you could still see my screen with uh, X-Ray. It's pulling up the X-Ray box. One thing I love about this product is the fact that, where is it? Let's see. Sorry, oh, I'm actually gonna explain this. The fact that there's so many different ways that you can say this product. So let's go to like a top seller uh, that's just absolutely slain, like this guy. So I wanna figure out what keywords he's ranking for. I wanna figure out how he's making all the money that he is. So as I scroll down, I'm going to click Sorry, one second. I'm gonna wait for Helium 10 to upload. I'm gonna click this keyword tab and I want to see all the different ways that, that people search for this product to buy. And uh, what you're about to see is uh, this keyword that we found, what was it? Indoor fire pit, indoor fire pit. This keyword specifically is not like the main keyword. It's not the, the base of the tree, it's a branch. The base of the tree with this keyword and how you're gonna figure that out is you, you need to filter these down. Uh, what I like to do is I like to filter by what organic ranking is he on page, or is he with spots one through 30? Meaning he's on page one for what keywords? Well, let's press enter. So we filtered the sound and then let's rank by search volume. Cool. So where is it? Right here. Looks like this is it. So tabletop fire pit. This has 18,000 searches. Uh, it's probably more competitive than this, this keyword. But as we look, there's tabletop fire space pit. There's um, s'mores kit. There's indoor fire pit tabletop. There's a portable fire pit, like those add up to the point where I guarantee you, if you add the search volume, it's going to be around like a hundred thousand a month. So I really like this keyword. And uh, let me give you another small gem. Um, you might be asking, okay, well, what product would I actually sell? Like what kind of fire pit would I sell? And that's actually an advantage of this. All of these are a little bit different. All of these are not the exact same. And the one that I specifically really like is this guy, okay? This one he's selling for $39.99. Look at the value that he's added on this product. He's added these two uh, things, I, I what is it? It's like, a, it's like, I forgot what they're called exactly, but here's like a stand, here's, tonsils here, something that you could put like your plate on, or sorry, that you could put like the fire pit on. I mean, that is so much more value than just the fire pit itself. Does that make sense? And if I open up X-Ray, if I open up X-Ray, you'll see that he is like banking and he's making good money because he's over delivering on value with his product. He only has what, like 48 reviews, this guy right here. He only has 48 reviews. And he's doing 26,000 a month. Therefore, he's able to compete with products that are doing 90, 900, uh, uh, almost 200, 670 reviews. Like that is how you kind of make your way into some of these already established niches is by simply over providing value. And if you're not really sure where to start, find listings that are already doing it. And, 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 and like, I wouldn't say just copy them, but, but take from their example and think like, Okay, they're offering things like this, therefore I can offer something like that. The next product that I want to uh, show, and I think is a really, really good example, is uh, this meat shredder twister tool. So this has uh, 4,000 search, 
uh, 35,000 monthly revenue, super low review count. And um, once again, I like this product because when I was looking up Cerebro, I saw that there are so many different ways to say this product. And I like anything that has to do with like a kitchen or food because it is so easy that you could, it, it's, it would be so easy to throw in like a free, like, like PDF or like a, a cooking guide, you know, something that you can create on chat GPT. Like there's so many different ways that are like, okay, right here, this guy threw in a tool, um, like a little mat, you know, he, he's providing so much more value that, um, that way he's able to kind of slay like all of these other people and check this out. This guy's selling for nine ninety nine, nine ninety nine. scroll up. This guy's selling for twenty four ninety nine, and he's obviously selling more. He's probably making more because he's higher higher ranked for this keyword. Therefore, this would be such an easy and good product to sell that it's making at least fifteen thousand dollars a month, and that's why I like this keyword. Uh, next one will be actually overnight oat containers with lids. I love this keyword, uh, and let me show you why exactly this. Like, if you do not catch this, this will trick you actually. So any normal person that understands keyword research, understands product research with Amazon, um, they would look at these numbers I'm about to pull up on X-Ray. Any normal person would look at these numbers and th think search volume, awesome. Review count, not that low. But oh man, some of these guys are on the top, like they're just crushing it. I cannot compete with them. And like, okay, everyone's selling like roughly the same thing. Like how do I compete with them? All right, I want you to look down and this guy right here has, has, has struck me because he has only four reviews and he's doing 20,000 in revenue. And you're probably asking yourself, well, cool. But like, why exactly is he doing so well with such low review count? It's because he's selling a different product offering. If you look at all of these, when people type in the when people type in the search term, they're looking for overnight oat containers with lids. They don't specify if it needs to be plastic or glass or a plastic top. And like, I don't know what I'm getting at is this guy right? This guy down here. He is selling his with glass, with a spoon, and with a bamboo lid. That is enough reason for me to believe that that is why people would buy from him over someone who's selling, you know, like, um, what is it? You know, these plastic ones, even though they're nice. And now also you could also say, well, or you could also argue, well, hey, like, what about there's these glass containers well, specifically, people are looking for overnight oat containers, and he is displaying that very well on his first picture. He's appealing to the customer rather than glass containers with uh, coffee beans, uh, with uh, marshmallows. You know what I'm saying? Like, he is very dialed in on winning the overnight oat container market of over, you know, like, hey, just use this as a storage glass lid, you know, with lid. Uh, does that make sense? Like these are little things, little nuances, little um, like things that you should pick up. You should, if you find someone that's slaying it on page one and they have low review count, you need to study that listing and study the keywords, but study the pictures and ask and keep asking yourself, how is this guy killing it with basically no reviews, AKA no credibility. It's a brand new listing. And, um, and he's, you know, like it just doesn't add up. Well, it always adds up. You just have to figure out like why. And I have reason to believe that that is why he's doing so well. He's appealing to the specific niche, the overnight oak containers. Uh, therefore people are, are more appealed to purchase this product because they're looking for overnight oak container. Uh, they may not register when they see these glass containers, um, or they may not register when they see a set of six for the same price and think, oh yeah, this is an overnight oak container. They will probably register with more with this product. Okay, that's why I love this product. Now, finish with my rant. Um, the last product that I wanna show you uh, that is would be a good product to sell, $15,000 a month product, is this wind chime hummingbird 
feeder. This is trippy. All right, let me X out of these other screens. This is a little trippy because as I was looking through this initially, I thought, okay, like simple enough. You know, I was even scrolling down and I saw these other, um, you know, hummingbird feeders or like these. And I thought, okay, well, these aren't wind chime. And so, you know, maybe this would be a good product to sell. It seems like there's not much supply, not much competition, but check this out. Let me open up x-ray, check this out. I hope you can see this. So good search volume. The average review count is three. It is literally three. And it's because, uh, so once I, once I check the uh, seasonal trending chart, this product literally just launched like a month ago. It is, it, the, they launched supposedly December 23. And today's date is actually February 4th, 2024. So it's only been a month. But as you see, like, man, like you literally can create a listing, stuff these keywords and photos in, and automatically Amazon will rank it to the top of page one because no one is really selling this. Like, so you could transparently, you can get on page one within like a day or two, but here's also the other kicker is because it's so new, we don't have much data to figure out how well these products are doing. If it's actually a good opportunity, because like this one guy is killing it, but you know, someone like this, okay, they're, they're doing well. There's a generic listing you could sell on top of for crying out loud, but this is kind of hard to gauge. My only recommendation is if you come, come across something like this, what you can do is click on the listing. Amazon has this new feature where you could see, oh, cool. Like it, sh it will tell you how many have been sold in the last month to kind of give you a good gauge as a consumer. And, uh, you know, you can use that data versus Helium 10 trying to catch up with Amazon's data as a third party, you know, integration. And that will give you confidence that like, okay, I can sell this product. Uh, the only, the last thing I would say as far as like a caution for this kind of product is you just don't know how long the wave is going to go on for. It hasn't really, it's not like a, a, a product that's been selling for a long time, meaning the search volume is for sure doing well right now, but how long is it going to last? Like you just don't know you, you could risk it and it really could pay off. And my recommendation and my theory is transparently, if these people can sell it, so can you. Like, there's nothing like that makes them unique except the fact that they threw these photos together, which virtually look all the same, and they have a couple reviews. So, like, the path of resistance is even lower for you, but you just need to be careful as far as maybe you should only buy 100 or 200 units instead of like a thousand, right? So, this was clearly over 10 minutes, but I feel like this was helpful to see products that are. Um, doing around 15,000 a month, but to actually understand why you should move forward with them and actually understand like what competitive edge you can use as a new seller or even as, a, as an established seller to sell these products that frankly maybe have been selling for some time. Um, anyways, hope that was helpful. If you like this video, hit that like button and comment, subscribe down below, and uh, I will see you in the next one.